Gas prices going up again overnight, except for one downtown LA station, where after our coverage yesterday of its over $8 per gallon prices, prices actually went down. Christina Gonzalez was there yesterday. We hear there's been lots of reaction, Christina. Oh, yeah, especially on social media. It went nuts. Now, they're not talking to us, so they're not telling us why, but you can see that definitely down from that over eight, they're still over seven dollars per gallon, which is actually not that hard to see down in this area. Watch. It just got a little less expensive to fill up at the Chevron off Alameda in downtown Los Angeles, where we had questioned personnel over the $8 plus per gallon price. This is a private property. Overnight prices did go down $7.85 for regular unleaded, still way over the LA County average of $6.20. But if you think over $7 for unleaded is uncommon, check out just Shell up the street in Chinatown and those paying. Or what they are. Nothing I can do to change it. Well, you could go to a cheaper gas station. This I one could. Is... I mean, but I'm also at absolutely zero right now in my gas tank. Three mile range. <laughs> I just put 15 bucks in. At 745, that's what, two gallons? Enough to get to a cheaper station, but even some Arcos are charging over six dollars. Then when you're paying six dollars a gallon, it's still outrageous and people are still making too much money. And, and, you know, Californians are, are getting gouged. This is called the Golden State Gouge. I want to know if the governor is going to declare a state of emergency on the issue of gas prices anytime yeah. soon. That's on the phone with the office of Governor Newsom, who would need to declare a state of emergency for California's anti-price gouging law to even go into effect, and the attorney general to really start looking at these prices. This is just a, um, a orgy. Uh, for the for the oil industry, and the legislators have absolutely no answer for it. Um, you know, we have a bill that would require oil refineries every month to report their profits off every barrel of gas they sell. Would it make a difference? Because we already know they're making a ton of profit. Well, it, it would make a difference because we'll be able to take that profit back. They could take it back in excess profit taxes, for example. But that won't happen for a while, if at all. And as to that declaration of emergency, we did get a statement from the governor's office. They're saying, quote, the governor's committed to providing relief for Californians who are facing higher costs as reflected in the proposed $18.1 billion inflation relief package. Negotiations with the legislature are ongoing. So the short answer to that is no, no emergency. Emergency declaration anytime soon that we can tell you about. I am live in downtown Los Angeles. Christina Gonzalez reporting for you guys. Fox 11 News. Back to you in the studio. All right, Christina, thank you.